Bahadur often says, when a villager is hungry, he goes to the market. When a Raji is hungry, he goes to the forest. For Bahadur and the other Raji, yesterday and tomorrow are one and the same. The search for food and the quest for survival are never ending. Villagers are afraid of the Raji. They'll tell their children, if you misbehave, we'll give you to the Raji. And yet the villagers don't hesitate to come and ask for honey or pollen to give to their wives who've just given birth or to their elders in need of strength. Mama admits that he would like to have been a honey hunter himself. He says that the gods did not give him the audacity or the strength. Instead, he accompanies Bahadur and helps him to organize their group. How much time is left for Mama to teach the younger Raji, like Mina, how to make the oka used to smoke and subdue the bees? trees are sacred. They should never be climbed without making an offering to the god of the forest. Mama sacrifices a rooster and says, please accept this life. Spare ours. Yes, our climbing gear is good, but your arms are better, Eric tells us. Bahadur and the others politely make fun of all the equipment. The bees are almost two-thirds of an inch long and seem to prefer paler skin. Their stings pierce through leather gloves. Climbing with their bare feet and hands, the Raji only use ropes to reach the bottom branches and to hoist their harvest up and down. 
The smoke of the oka is the only protection they use against the attack of thousands of bees. High up in the trees, a hunter has no one but himself to count on. Bahadur never asks questions. He simply repeats his ancestors' every move, braving death for the survival of his people. Eric did not just come to testify to the Raji way of life. He came to live, share, discover. Fear is his companion. It tells him he has reached the edge of an unknown territory. And Eric likes the unknown. Danger is necessary. It gives color to life. Risk taking and its rewards travel together side by side. Nature offers no security. The Raji know this well. In order to confront the void and the attack of the bees, Bahadur has cultivated a sense of calm and detachment. In his own way, he has become a master. His grandfather was known as the finest honey hunter these forests have ever known. The only words of advice he ever gave his grandson were, if you survive a fall, Climb back up as soon as you can, before fear devours you. The Raji admire and respect the bees for their efficiency and the perfect organization of their society. They also fear them as the bees have already claimed more than one life. Yet they need their honey in order to survive, making their encounter inevitable. Bahadur knows them intimately. Unlike honey hunters from India, the Raji never destroy the nest. They only remove part of it so that the bees will not die of hunger upon their return. The Raji never take more than they need. Why did 
Thank you.